guys, welcome back to my channel. And I am here today with a book review of Tina Turner, My Love Story. So I picked up this book in Barnes & Noble. Um, it was on sale in the biography section. I saw it. I was like, well, you know, why not? Tina Turner, everybody. It's a household name, especially in the black community. So why not? <clears throat> Let's see what she's talking about. We all know that she had some drama. It was a movie made about her drama. So that's why I picked up this book. Um, so basically, I'm just going to set the book to the side and drop it. But <laughs> basically, the book is basically um, a biography from childhood on to where she is present day so um i have not read i tina this is actually her second biography her first biography i tina was the one that the the movie that in my opinion one of the greatest top five movies of all time was love got to do with it is based off of i tina i haven't read i tina but that was written in 1989 and so here we are almost 30 years later with what's happened you know I think everything that's included in that book, plus what's happened since then. Um, and here we have Tina Turner, My Love Story. So what I liked about the book. Um, what I liked about the book is that it seemed to not hold back any punches in the beginning. Um, the book starts off from her childhood, takes you through her tumultuous relationship with Ike. It has all the domestic violence in there. It has um, background on their musical career, um <clears throat> her breaking away from the relationship things like that um so she didn't hold back any punches i didn't feel she held, held back any punches and from and i say that just because just based off of what i knew from the movie was love got to do with the book pretty much matched up and had a, a couple of um extra tidbits in there that i know i is one thing i like reading about um celebrity biographies and memoirs they tell you little tidbits and little you know kind of golden nuggets about uh their works of art and things like that um what i didn't like about the book i'm just gonna be honest here <clears throat> the book got pretty boring about halfway through it was so hard for me to finish this book and that's because once ike was out the picture one one too much going on and i say that with every bit of love in my heart for tina turner but Things got really boring. And, and not only was it boring, it was unrelatable. After she left Ike, um, a lot of her solo career, a lot of her fame, if you will, her fame as a solo artist came from the European music market and not the American market. Like, <clears throat> I don't know about y'all, but I can't name five uh, hit record, Tina Turner records from her as being a solo artist. And that's, of course, not to throw any shade, but just to say that we weren't, um, we didn't embrace her. She And she talks about that in her book. She says the American music demographic didn't really embrace her style of singing and her song choice and who she was without I And that's probably a very fair assessment of it. But it left some of it unrelatable. It left, uh, half of the book unrelatable. Um, I couldn't relate to some of her pivot points, her high points, some of these tours, these songs, these magazine covers that she talks about and these, you know, events that had such meaning with her as an American. I ain't see it. So <clears throat> that's what I didn't like about the book. Another thing was that the book was very, very much a love story. And I guess, you know, I should have took it for what, what it was at, um, at face value. But again, the second half of the book was so romanticized between her and her her second husband, um, Mr. Erwin Bach, who sounds like a wonderful man. Sound like he gave King to the whole world and helped put her back together after Ike had did everything in his power to break her. So um, I'm very happy for her. But again, in my opinion, over romanticized. And that I didn't like about the book, <clears throat> and this is gonna be a personal note, and this is gonna be some tea here, is that Tina says that she never seen what love got to do with it and i just feel like at this point 30 years later she says that she never saw it because it was too raw at that time it was too fresh she hadn't been going along for like but here we are in 2018 she wrote the book in 2018 and she still says she never saw what love got to do with it sis auntie auntie tina no no how do you not dare shout out our queen mother, Angela Bassett, by name, for that outstanding Academy Award performance she did portraying you. Like, I felt that that was just disrespectful. I don't care if you've never seen it. You read about it. You've heard it. 
Um, I know in my house when I was growing up, that was the 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 biggest Oscar sham known to black women. That was the one role she, Angela Bassett, you know, a black woman should have gotten the Oscar, but black women weren't getting the Oscars then. So for her to say that she has not seen that movie, for her to not thank you, give praise to Angela for portraying her the way that she did and doing such a good job, whether the movie had her blessing or not, whether she sold the book rights to the movie, because it sounds like that's kind of what happened. You got to give credit when credit due. Like, you got to pay homage to the queen mother. Like, I, I didn't like that at all. Like, I took that on a personal note. Like, what's love got to do with it? That's the whole reason I bought this book. That's the whole reason people my age know who you are. It's because of that movie that comes on every other week on seven different channels. So how dare you say, you know, if you can't find, you can't watch it for emotional size, that's fine. And I also think that that's, you know, I don't know how much I believe that because she talks about how she had such a hands-on in Tina Turner, the musical, which also talks about her domestic violence. But fine, you can watch it. You heard about it. And you know who Angela Bassett is. But I'm going to get off my soapbox about that. Um, so for, for those reasons, oh, almost who the book is for, women her age. Probably not going to like it. I mean, you might like the first half of it. You probably would like I, Tina better. Because that's when I had to get off the boat. Not saying that her, again, her success or was was centered around that tumultuous relationship. But for the reasons that I mentioned, I just mentioned, if you're going to read about her, you probably want to read I, Tina. So you don't be bored to death like I was. And then get off the boat. Um, and it's probably for her diehard fans. <clears throat> Overall, I get the book a rating of 3 out of 5. Um, just based off of what I've just told you guys. So. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys next time.